They call it double borough dating, wooing two people from two different boroughs at the same time. You have access to people in different little neighborhoods and it's basically just a way to cast your dating net as wide as, as possible. It could be exclusive or not. With a population of over 8 million people and 5 boroughs, New York City is a place of double if not triple borough dating. I work full time in the morning, but one knows that and the other one I tell I work full time at night. Stefan has been playing the field in both Queens and Brooklyn and got caught just a couple days ago. I accidentally sent her a text and I um, tried to catch myself but it was too late so I just told her I was seeing somebody else on the side. and. Now she doesn't talk to me anymore, so. But Stefan loves double borough dating and sees nothing wrong with it. If you're in a committed relationship and you have that title as a boyfriend and girlfriend, dating other people, whether it's in the same borough or a different borough, I definitely don't agree with. For me, I would dislike that. I don't know, I'm not a big fan. If I would love knowing that the girl is tied down to me as I'm tied down to her. I think if you're honest about it, then it's the way to go. <laughs> Until you find what you're really looking for, I don't see it as a big deal. We return to Amit, who admits to dating two women simultaneously. I think through dating so many people, through many zip codes and subway lines and metro cards, you find the right person, and I did. Amit recommends double borough dating to single friends, as long as they're not already fully committed. Why not? You know, he wasn't in a serious relationship. He was trying to meet different kinds of people and it worked for him. She moved down to my zip code and we are m -m married. Queens or Brooklyn, with trains linking every borough, maybe now you don't have to choose. You could date both. This is Maria Sandoval for the New York Post.